Quite a few people have moved in our direction. Uh, so people, I mean, senior, prominent, prestigious scientists working on the biology of aging. I wouldn't say that there's all that many who have gone from being vocal detractors of this work to being vocal advocates, but there are certainly plenty of people who have gone either from being vocal detractors to being silent, or alternatively from being silent to being vocal advocates. So people are definitely moving in the right direction, and I assure you that nobody is moving in the other direction. ARMI at Monash University is one of a number of high-profile, well-funded, really prestigious regenerative medicine institutes around the world who are taking an increasing interest in the application of regenerative medicine to aging. ARMI is actually headed now by Nadia Rosenthal, one of the most prominent professors in regenerative medicine in the world, who has been one of the more vocal and um, you know, uninhibited supporters of the ideas I've been putting forward since way back, since um, getting on for 10 years now. And she has counterparts in the US, for example, Tony Atala, who is the head of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine, Alan Russell, who for 10 years was the head of the McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine. These are the, the biggest and most prestigious regenerative medicine institutes in the world. And all of those people who head those institutes are, you know, associate editors of the journal that I edit, Rejuvenation Research, they're members of our research advisory board, they are not just privately but publicly supportive of the sense approach.